So, you know, everybody knows about the University of North Carolina and our basketball program. You know, we're the, the place that taught Michael Jordan how to play basketball. That said, I don't think people recognize our, our research strength. Um, in 2017, we won a basketball championship, but we were ranked number six in federal research dollars across the country. So when we think about research at UNC, it involves everything from arts and humanities, social sciences, natural sciences, uh, and the biomedical sciences all combined together. The scope and breadth of the science effort in diabetes at UNC is really spectacular. Last time I checked, over the last five years, 150 different investigators uh, have been funded for diabetes research projects across essentially all the schools and disciplines on campus from basic research to clinical research um, and even policy work. We've had several uh, major advancements. Dr. Zengu, who's biomedical engineering, fundamental basic science department that works closely with clinical departments. Basically what Dr. Zengu is trying to do is use chemistry and nanotechnology and engineering uh, to link insulin delivery uh, to blood sugar levels. UNC has a real culture of service and I, I think that's the reason why uh, many of us on campus have gotten involved in uh, national organizations. Dr. Beth Mayer Davis and I have both served as presidents of the American Diabetes Association and for the National Diabetes Education Program, Dr. Sue Kirkman and I have both served as national chairs. It really creates a, a unique environment here where there's a lot of people that are involved with many projects across the globe. The Search for Diabetes in Youth study is the largest, most diverse epidemiological study of childhood diabetes uh, in the U.S. today. Uh, the search study involves five different clinical sites and we look at the incidence and the prevalence of childhood diabetes, both type 1 and type 2, and monogenic forms of diabetes um, over time. So the study is really important in terms of knowing what's the public health impact of diabetes, what do we need to think about going forward in terms of the care that these kids and young adults will need, um, and also will offer opportunity to really look at the risk factors for complications so that we can think about approaches uh, to prevent the long-term complications of diabetes. Commitment to collaboration combined with a huge investment in research infrastructure has really put us in a great position uh, now uh, when intradisciplinary research is so prominent. Our role as an R1 research university is to train the next generation of thinkers. The students here are just fantastic. Uh, not only are they brilliant and hardworking, uh, but they really are um, the glue that often puts these interdisciplinary teams together. It's an exciting time to be a graduate student in diabetes research because it's such a complex clinical and public health issue uh, that it's necessary to think in an interdisciplinary way. And there are people at the bench doing uh, molecular mechanisms and building these bioresponsive uh, drug delivery systems. There are people in the School of Public Health who are working on data science and uh, population health. So I've been involved in work where we're collecting new data and then also developing statistical methods to um, use on existing data. And then there are people who are running clinical trials and testing how this all actually translates to patient care. In the UNC clinical trial program, we've had the opportunity to work uh, with many investigators across the world. And the big excitement recently has been around um, these two new classes of drugs that have demonstrated not only blood sugar lowering, but reduction in the risk of heart attack, stroke, kidney disease, and even death. That's a game changer. I think that because there's so much research going on here and that it's such a collaborative environment, the process of like coming up with an idea and then having the support to refine it and back it with um, like really cool cutting-edge science has been incredible and it makes me excited to do research like this for the rest of my life. I've been a diabetes researcher for 20-25 years and there's still a great deal of work to be done so I'm inspired to do that and I'm glad to be a UNC.